All right, guys, while I have you here, I, I want to take this moment. I know that right now we're kind of derailing the stream, but I felt that considering how divers is popping off massively here, and I'm so, I'm so happy for it. And I, I hope it continues popping off. I think we need to come together as a community and rank these stratagems. I have brought together with me today, professional health diver, oh, say less, who will also help me what in the ranking about? of this. Less, <laughs> you, you are now part of this. Less will be a part of the ranking of said stratagems. Also, we have Twitch chat here, which will also be helping us rank said stratagems. And considering we have unlocked every stratagem in the game, I feel like we have some level of expertise that we could share in this list. Now we have everything ranked from S to F tier. And so I just want to start wherever. Les, what would yes. you deem is S tier? Actually, fuck that Les, I got this, I got this. I know it's S tier. Go for it, I'll let you know if I agree. Okay, so Orbital, stri uh, orbital Strike. S tier. I need to just make sure I'm, I'm looking at the Which right. Which orbital strike are you talking about? Orbital rail, rail cannon one? Yeah, or, or, okay. orbital rail cannon strike. We'll briefly look at each one of these two. That way y'all can see them. Uh, and we'll, we'll have this cut up in the footage as well. Orbital rail cannon strike, to me, clearly S tier. That clearly. is S tier? It, yeah. it is S tier. Orbital laser is S tier, well, I, think. I, I think. I think you're right, Les. I think orbital laser, guys, for those that don't know, this is orbital laser. It's that big giant laser that sits there and just tracks forever and ever. It does great for clearing out ads. I think the, the only bad thing about orbital laser it's got a long cooldown. And when you have like the modifiers that extends that cooldown, it's rough. Everyone in chat saying it's A tier. What? For real? Laser's A tier? Really? I don't know, Chad. I would make I would say S tier. B tier? Really? I, okay, put it in A tier for now. I, th I think you should like kind of like change it as you go, you know? Okay, okay. So the, the comment that's being made right now, and this is by the way, this is a collection of all of us right here, chat. I want us to be all a part of this. So some of you are saying that it should be an A tier because of the core down, the fact that it can only be used three times. That's can a good I, point. I didn't can, think of that. Can I get a poll on this though? Can we just get a poll on this? Orbital laser, S tier, A tier. Can we get a prediction on that? I like to believe that we have a bunch of professional hell divers in here who can make a good call. Oh, it is not C tier. Are you guys kidding me? Orbital laser is strong, dude. It is strong. It's really good. Like not just for like one enemy, but like just a group of enemies. It'll kill them all. Like, it, you'll get like 20, 30 kills. It is one, one of those things I just keep in my back pocket. Like if, if I'm like feeling like, oh my God, we're getting overwhelmed. I can't handle it. I throw it down. Yeah. And you don't really kill your teammates with it either. I have killed some teammates with it though, Les. I've stepped in my own laser and died. It happens. All right, it's your wins. Wow. All right. The squad has voted. Majority here says that orbital laser is in fact A tier. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Okay. Next, I'm, I'm just kind of grabbing the ones that I use the most. So where would you put the shield pack? For those that are, that are wondering, this is the shield pack right here. Hold on. This is the shield generation pack. It's the individual shield that stays around you at all times, guys. You're running around the map. It's great for running gun situations, especially if you're just trying to zone in on just the objective. Where would you put it? I put it like at B. Re Les, you really don't like it? I'm B tier for I, I felt like there's other, like it depends on the mode you're doing, right? Okay. And I, I put A or B in my opinion. I don't think it's like a must have, you know? I felt like with orbital, like the rail cannon, orbital rail cannon, you kind of need that. You don't need the shield. You know what I mean? And it only blocks bullets. It doesn't block like melee hits. Wait, it doesn't block melee hits from terminants? I don't think it does. It blocks Ch bullets though. Chad, is that true? The shield doesn't block melee hits? Everyone's saying you're high less. It does in fact block. Probably really good then. Les, you're really messing with my um, intro I had for you about professional hell diver. I need you to get your back together. I, I will I will say in the higher ranks, Les, I found that the most optimal strat is, because especially if you're running to do objectives, and this is for the 40 minute missions, the 12 minute, anything that's not defense missions, shield pack rail cannon, it's like the loadouts. Is that it? Is, it is like the loadout. And uh, guys, I, I have to put it at S tier. I, pers I personally think it's S tier. That's just that's just my opinion. I'm gonna clear some of these rows because I don't think we need to have F tiers. Uh, th there is definitely an F tier in this game. D, you don't think D tier can handle that? It can. I'm gonna clear some of these rows, guys. Just kind of we'll have S through D. I think those other two rows are a little too much, and that will that way things aren't too vertical. All right, well, on the topic of railgun though, chat railgun. The beautiful thing I love about it is its ability to deal with armored enemies. This is actually a, a look at railgun right here. I mean, it it has its ammo economy is fantastic. You could rock it with the shield generator as well. So it's like that combination is perfect. Personally, guys, I find railgun to be 
I think it's S tier. I feel like I'm really stacking up the S tier, but we're going to get to everything it else. It is S tier, though. But it is S tier. Bro, guns S tier. It's nice. Okay. Now, I want to bring up the most controversial one here, at least for me. Where do we place the spear? For those that are wondering what the spear does, the spear is literally the best weapon at tanking, taking down Bile Titans. Better than Rogue. Better at taking down Bile Titans. Better than taking, taking down uh, tanks. When it comes to armored enemies, the spear is second to none. Here's the problem with the spear. It's tracking and it's lock on is for some reason, extremely finicky. Has the developer said anything about the spear on why the tracking, sometimes it tracks, sometimes it doesn't. Like it just has a mind of its own. It's locked down. If they would just fix the lockdown, it would be S tier tomorrow. Probably a B tier in my opinion. I, I would have to agree with that right now, guys. I love the spear, but nothing sucks worse than sitting there struggling to get it to track. And then the moment I do get it to track, the enemy is so dang close to me that the spear shoots up and shoots past the damn, ad, the damn uh, ad I'm trying to hit. If they ever do, if they ever fix the spear, it will be clearly the best stratagem, in my opinion, in the game. When if they make it lock in easier or quicker, I think it'd be S tier. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It well, needs to lock in quicker, in my it, opinion. Well, not just lock in quicker. It just needs to lock in. Like, there's just times they'll sit there and they'll, they'll go into lock and then they'll back out and go into lock. It just keeps going back and forth. And then, and then it just doesn't even... Sometimes it just doesn't even give you the lock cue. Uh, I heard that it's an issue if there's too many targets in front of you that you're trying to lock on. It's like the spear doesn't know which one to, to so go you want to lock into? Yeah. All right. Next on the list. I know we're jumping all over the place. Les, where would we put the 500K? Eagle 500K. Oh, that one's so rough. Because it is it's very good. nice to just throw it into a nest and it kill everything and the nest is cleared. But sometimes I've seen it like hit enemies. Like there's enemies in the radius of it and it just doesn't kill them. Really? Yeah, I've seen it where like they're in the radius and it just doesn't kill them for some reason. Like, Dude, it's man, like glitched, I, it glitched out. I feel like I killed the enemies. I killed teammates. I killed myself. It's they are, really good though. Like A, A, A or S tier. Low S, high, mid A. Can we get a can we get a vote on this? Where is the Eagle 500 k at on this list? To me, it's a toss-up between S or A. You could throw B in there if I got some of you are like saying it's a B if you want to throw that in the boat as well. Are we are we talking with like the modules on the ship as well or just the base of it? Because the ship module makes it nuts. Like when you get it fully upgraded, the uh, extended weapons bay. Let's I'm a I'm I am taking it from the perspective of its most amped out form. Oh, that's that that might be pretty it's high most up there. amped out form because I wanna I wanna not only I like I don't wanna just talk about base strategy. I'm assuming everyone here that are also earning these strategies are going for the the best upgrades possible and so yeah the ship modules i'm i'm including that in that as well in that case it's s tier i would assume yeah i, I think it's s tier with the ship module chris, chris chris brings up a perfect example you get three uses you get a fast rearm yeah all right it's going a i guess <laughs> oh my god you guys are still saying a tier all right that's surprise okay all right that's fine a tier We'll leave it at A tier. We adhere to the poll. And the reason why I'm including chat in this is so that for my folks on YouTube that are going to be inevitably upset with the placements here, I can shift liability. It is not I. I, I play a small role in, in the overall democratic voting way that we're going about this, considering this is a game about democracy, right? Everyone here has a vote. Everyone with their opinions and their suggestions, you have a right to vote on where these stratagems are placed. And for my YouTube audience that extremely upset, don't worry. We'll have a list of everybody in the day stream. Feel free to track them down if you like. Come mm -hmm. down here. You can come right over here and just be like, hey, you, the guy that voted for A tier, fuck you. All right, next on the list. This is a, a personal one that I use, or I, I used to use a lot. I don't use it as much anymore, but it's still really, really good. EMS Mortar Sentry. And that, this again, I'm speaking from the perspective of max out ship modules. You know, you've got the increased ammo, the health. Again, the EMS, it essentially just stops everything from advancing. I'm thinking A. I too think A tier. Here's why I think EMS is not S tier. I'm pretty sure this is the case, but it only shoots out an, a second mortar after the first one has finished its cycle. Is that, can Jack, can somebody confirm that? It's great for lockdown. Like if you combo it with like a regular mortar, oh, that shit goes off. It's great for it's great for lockdown chat, but because it has that delay. Well, but some of you are saying that it shouldn't be an A tier. Do y'all want to do a vote real quick? A tier versus B tier. It's not it's not S tier. A tier versus B tier. Oh man, so it's so difficult. Sentries are so difficult because if you don't have something defending the sentry, then they get immediately destroyed, especially on like the harder difficulties. So like if I was to throw out an EMS mortar and 
I didn't put another sentry next to it to defend it, like an auto cannon or, or, or the Gatling. My EMS would just get run the fuck over. So I do find EMS to be very, very good, but by itself, it can be immediately destroyed. The majority of chat right now is saying, uh, saying A tier. Okay. 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 Can we talk about the uh, Eagle 110 MM rocket pods? What are we saying with those? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let me let me get to this. The Eagle 110 rocket pods. Man, I love those, man. Really? I love them. They they are quick and they do good damage and like you get a lot of chances with it. Does that make sense? Chat saying C tier right now. Really? I mean, I've used it a few times less. I'm gonna be honest. I don't feel like I've... Maybe I just haven't looked at it long enough to see what it kills. I, I just haven't felt like I got a lot out of them. Let's... Can it take down a tank? I don't... I think it takes two to take down a tank. Okay. I think. It's okay. not a one shot, but it takes like two, two or three. I've had it miss several times. I too have had it miss several times. Yeah. Really? It I, always targets the biggest, the biggest enemy. I don't know if I'm just like throwing them wrong or what, but I've had it. I've had it. Or at least the laser, the projection of the laser feels like it was completely off target. And by the way, when we say things like it's, it takes one hit for, to kill a tank, obviously this changes depending on the difficulty, right? I'm kind of speaking from a, a hell dive difficulty perspective here above everything else, because we want to know what's going to be really popping off. Everyone's saying B tier. I think B tier is, is fine, but I actually really like them a lot. I'm going to keep it at B tier. Personally, my experience with it has not been that good. Some of you saying great things about it, less is saying great things about it. I'm going to keep it in B tier, okay? All right, next, the anti-material rifle. Less you use this a lot. I, our gun, the rail gun just does what it does, but better. I don't know. <laughs> it's just true, man. It's true. The sniper's great for early game, but after you start getting Vile Titans and tanks and stuff, it's kind of like D tier. Yeah. D C tier. Like it's not very like that good. Yeah. I wish. I'm using it now because I don't have the rail gun unlocked. When I get that unlocked, that thing's going in the bin. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it in D tier right now. We'll just, we'll just leave it there for right now. All right. A simple one, guys. Jump pack. Where would we put jump pack? See, you know, there are times where jump pack is so clutch, right? The problem is, is jump pack takes the place of other great backpack options. Like if I could do a jump pack and a shield at the same time, oh my Lord, that would be nuts. It's good for, for, you know, speed running. You know, I've seen some maneuvers with the jump pack, um, getting the high ground, but again, it takes the place of some of the other backpack options. And, and I just can't, I can't use it over those other options. Chat, I'm going to, I'm going to put it in C tier. I'm going to, I'm going to put it in C tier here. Okay. Um, on the topic of backpacks though, I want to talk about the guard dogs. Uh, let's start with guard dog Rover. Guard dog Rover is the laser guard dog here, guys. And in That's my opinion, here. it is one of the best when it, when uh, specifically against terminates, I think it's fantastic against terminates. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with chat. I think a, a tier on that. Yeah. Okay. The only reason why I wouldn't put the laser in S tier is I don't I don't know about you, Les. Do you like the laser against the robots? So I was actually using it. I think it goes through the the walker guys, the ones that are like being remote controlled. For some reason, my rover destroys them front. I don't know why. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. I've seen it. I've seen it like chop off the leg and it just falls over. I've had the reaction that I've or the uh, experience I've had against bots is that the laser is actually worse with the bots and but fantastic with the, the terminates. But in that same note, the regular guard dog, the one that actually has the liberator assault rifle, that to me is better for robots. I found that this one is, is really good for robots. But when I say good for robots, better than the laser. But where would you guys put guard? Guard dog. There's regular guard dog. It sucks because they reload and cooldown so often. I will say the cooldown does suck. Yeah. I can't remember what the what the laser. Does the laser have a cooldown? No. Ah, okay, okay. Guys, I'm gonna ah, man, this is so tough. I don't wanna put it in B tier because we've got spear and chat. I'm gonna default this to you guys. Where would you put guard dog? B or C tier? It's um, it's one of those for me. B or C tier. tier. The ammo economy is rough. C tier. All right, everybody's saying C tier. All right, the C tier we go. All right, how does people feel about the ballistic shield backpack? This is the back. This is the the, the riot shield that you have walking toward enemies. I think it's honestly the worst one in the game. If if if, if I was to put an E tier back in this thing, it would put that there. I absolutely hate this stratagem. It has never saved me once. I literally sat there thinking I could block, you know, certain, certain, especially like against uh, the robots and it didn't do jack for me. And I haven't even tried it against Terminus. Are you guys okay with Ballistic Shield being D tier? Should we add another tier and make it E tier? No, it's just bad. I'm going to add one more tier. Can we just skip E and just do F tier? 
Yes, go with F. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do F tier for this one, guys. We weren't we were gonna stop at D, but then I forgot about that stratagem. It's a it's a terrible one. All right, let me get my sentries out the way. Where would we put rocket sentry? I've got rocket sentry right here. It's great against robots. And again, I'm speaking from the perspective of a, of up, upgraded ship modules, right? The ammo upgrade, all that good stuff. Ooh, we've got some conflicting opinions on this one for sure. Some people are saying A or B tier. Can I put it at B and then mortar at A. You think regular mortar is A? Mm -hmm. all right, I'm, I'm going to put rockets at B tier because there are times where I wanted to lock on to things and it just doesn't do it and it annoys the piss out of me. But hold on. Mortar at A tier? Mm -hmm. Let's... It kills people. I've probably died more to mortar than any other sentry type. I don't yes. give a... It clears ads for sure, but it shits on your teammates pretty hard. That's the fun of it. Oh my God. Everything in this game kills people across. It's like... Yeah, but none of them have the, the batting average that fucking mortars have. Mortars... Actually, there's one that actually contests it, which is the... Uh, where is it? The Eagle Cluster Bomb one. <laughs> that one kills a lot of teammates. I, I, mortar is sneaky. I find that I kill more people with a mortar than anything else. All right. Right, hold on let's get a vote on this mortar a tier or b tier i do not think it's s tier yes it gets a lot of kills but i have taken out many teammates including myself with it hold up hold on. i do i do want to admit that for defense missions both the ems and and the regular mortar are fantastic i mean they literally clear defense missions all right 40 74 of you are saying mortar is a tier it appears that mortar will remain as an a tier option we'll keep it as such all right moving on we have less where would we put the machine gun sentry this is like the most basic one guys uh that you start off with but where would we put the machine gun sentry good good for like super small ads of course but I got C. Everyone's saying D right now. Really? Y'all feeling D on this? Let's get let's get a poll on that. I think an early game machine gun is okay. Obviously, when we get in, when you start getting suicide and you know impossible and hell dive, dude, it it falls off pretty hard. The thing is that if we put machine gun at C, we have to put Gatling at B because Gatling is just a way better version of machine gun. Would we, would we agree with that? I would, yeah. Oh, definitely better for sure. Gatling, Gatling is just way better. I have not, I have no desire to go back to machine gun after unlocking Gatling. All right, so right now, machine gun century is at 69%. Nice. Okay, that's surprising. All right, that also means that from what Les was saying right there, that Gatling, which is right under this, which is really, really good and a way better version than machine gun century, we're going to put that at B tier. How does everybody feel about Gatling at B tier? Auto cannon rockets are just way better. Yep, very true. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I bring Gatling with me to defend my mortars, but I get where he's coming from on that. Because could we say that the rocket sentry is on the same level as Gatling? I don't think so, guys. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an executive decision right now on this. I'm gonna move this down a tier and this down a tier. I think that machine gun is D tier. I think Gatling is C tier because when you start to get the higher difficulties, you're looking for functionality over anything else. Yeah, I agree with that. Less in our destiny tier list, I just run in there and just start throwing stuff and I'm good. But I feel like we're making like a legitimate tier list today. Not because this game is taken serious. This thing isn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, on the topic of Sentry Steel, where do we put Tesla Tower? Thing is, I've never seen someone use it. I've used it. And let me just say, guys, I, I've tried using yes. <laughs> I've tried using Tesla Tower so many times. For those wondering what the Tesla Tower is, it's actually up here in the bridge. It is such a lethal tower. It really is. It will kill enemies. It will kill you, your teammates, your teammates' families. Like, it's incredibly lethal. Here's the problem. It's weak as f An enemy, especially in like impossible and hell dive modes, they breathe on this thing, it instantly goes down. The call in time is also so long, which you can get the upgrades, which will obviously fix this. But the call in time, sometimes when I'm trying to call in a Tesla tower immediately, dude, the enemy already moves out of the way. And unless I can bait them or kite them back into the tower, it's just not going to get the kills. And here's the problem. If you've got a bunch of enemies behind you and you're trying to kite them to the tower, you can't run through the tower. It's not like you can just sprint past the tower the tower is like oh that's cross don't hit him no it will just kill you and hopefully it will kill some of the enemies that come after your corpse but it's not exactly an easy thing to maneuver around so in that case guys i will put tesla tower in f tier now let me say this about tesla tower and this is me i've already gotten the increase in health in this in the ship modules and even then it gets one shot if they would triple the health pool of the tesla tower i think i could probably use it in. all right next gun we have the auto cannon, or the next next stratagem. We have the auto cannon. Dude, let me just say, just the, the sound of that century, right? When it's now yeah. then man, that impact, dude. Especially if you got the upgrades. You got the ammo upgrade. You got the upgrade where you can pivot. 
and find the targets even faster. It's beefy, fellas. I think it's like S or A. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say S tier because at the end of the day, sentries still run into the problem of a crusher running through and just completely stomping it. Sometimes, sometimes it can stop it. If it beads in on a sh your ad or something like that, then those other ad, a bigger ad will come and crush it. And again, the sentries, even with the health bomb upgrade, still get shredded pretty quickly in health dive mode. That's why whenever I drop sentries, I have to drop like three sentries on top of each other. I mean, that's that's three whole stratagems right there. I have to do that because they have to defend each other. Because if you just drop one, it singles them out too much. I know placement matters too, but here's the other thing about placement. Used to, used to be able to throw a sentry up on that rock and it stay on that rock. Have you tried that here recently? It hits the rock and bounces off. With that being said, guys, you're going to hate me for this. Auto cannon is in B tier. Mmm, that's a hot thing. It's in B tier. Really? Look, I love auto cannon. I do. And look, I am, I am a sentry. I was a sentry main. I, the first thing I upgraded in all my ship modules was sentries. And in lower difficulties, like any, prob probably from suicide and below, you can get away with throwing out a, a sentry by itself. But the moment you step into hell dive outside of defense missions, you throw an auto cannon out there by itself, give it 20 seconds, it's about to get destroyed. Give it 20 seconds, it's gonna get overwhelmed. See, is it is it worse than mortar though? Like, will you put it next to rockets and spear? I'm also gonna do this as well because I know that we were gonna be including chat in this selection process, but I'm gonna make a few decisions that I feel like I know more in this, in this scenario based on my experience. EMS is also B tier, mortar is also B tier. Welcome to your new meta. Everyone's saying, why is spear, spear in B tier? Because when it works, it works so damn good. Look, if B tier suddenly became more consistent, they fixed the tracking and they made it activate faster, it will it will replace Railgun for you. The lock on is janky and that's why it's in B tier. But when it locks on, it fucks. No way. I'm going to assume you have an unlocked spear. I'm going to... Railgun deletes everything. So does spear and faster. Spear and does it faster and look i've got it in b tier for good reason right now because it's janky but uh railguns in s tier spear smacks everything i know i know you can hate me now this is just i'm putting my own opinion here all right let me say this i have not used this at all the hmg emplacement i've got it on locks this is uh the turret that you get on and it says that it's got superior firepower against light armor targets it's slow to turn to place it wisely you know if they made this thing actually like counter armored enemies i would i would be down for this Takes you out of the fight, holds you in place. D tier, that is true. It does take you out of the fight. It puts you as a stationary target. I I, I agree with that. We'll have to put it at D tier. All right, let's 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 kind of finish these up here. Chats, what about the shield generator relay? This is the big giant bubble shield you put on yourself. You can also, there's some good things you can shoot out of it. You can actually hit enemies out of it. They can't, they can't hit you. But it's got a cooldown of 90 seconds and enemies can still push inside. So if it's a melee enemy or like the, uh, the, the, the bugs, they'll literally just push right inside. It's all fun until Hulk walks up and smacks you. I've seen that too. The Hulks will really, literally run up in there and just flame throw your ass. Guys, show generator relay. I'm going to have to put it at C tier. Nah, I don't know. Should we do it at D tier? But you pair it with a turret though. The, the, the issue is, is in the majority of our objective missions, guys, you're running and gunning, right? And that's the kind of why, again, I, I started off being a sentry main. I mean, we would, we would leave matches with like four or 500 kills. But the problem was we were struggling to complete those objectives because me stopping and fortifying myself with my shields and my sentries and all that stuff, that made me a stationary target. And even though I would get a lot of kills, I was not assisting at all in the objective. And, and so the missions would still take super long. And I, I found I had to change my ways in order to, uh, to secure those missions more easily. And again, this is from the perspective of hell dive mode. You just cannot stop, dude. Now, there are mo there are moments that shield is great. Now, I, I will admit, there are great moments that shield is great. It, it just, when it's a melee-based enemy or an enemy that plays aggressively and willing to push in and not just shoot you, that really messes up the shield. Against bugs, it's D tier. Against bots, it's C tier. There you go. That's why EMS is A tier. You stop enemies running after you. I, I know where you guys are coming from on the EMS. Let's, should I put EMS back at A tier? I'm torn right now. Yeah. I think I if there was a sentry that would be A tier, it would be EMS. But hold on. I want to consult my high levels. How do you feel? It takes a long time for EMS to place those slow fills, though. Remember, it waits for the previous fill to leave before placing another. I, yeah. Guys, I'm saying this from the perspective of someone that, have, that has loaded up on sentries and went into hell dives, like hell dive mode. Like, even EMS slowing enemies, they get wrecked, dude. They just get wrecked so fast. Obviously, in the lower difficulties, they're able to survive much, much longer and do way more damage and lockdown zones. But I'm leaving it at B tier for now, okay? 
It's great until you get stuck in a crossfire. Oh yeah, or when you're evacuating citizens. Get in them with the EMS. They just, it pretty much just freezes them in place. All right, next we have incinerate mines, guys. Where we put this? Fantastic for buffs. I actually like it when this is like a, an additional buff to our missions. I don't think I would, I would go out of my way to load myself out with incinerate mines though. I just like it as an addition. I wouldn't say F tier, guys. I wouldn't say they're F tier. Oh, dude, this is so tough. Cause like the, I put Tesla Tower here at F tier, and the Tesla Tower will will absolutely mess some stuff up. It just has no health and gets instantly destroyed. Both mines we're gonna keep at D tier. Name me a time when you have used the mines over literally anything else in your loadout. Fair point, Fox. Fair point. That's another thing. We, we can't just we can't just talk about as fun. You know, I, fair point. Only when they're free. Literally, only when they're a free additional buff or to our loadouts. All right. Let's hit some of the basic ones real quick. Where will we put the supply pack? I don't know. I like it when a teammate's using it. Here's the thing. No one willingly chooses the supply pack, though. God bless the souls that do. But no one does. Supply pack is like divinity. Yes, actually, though. I never have a teammate run supply pack. I wish I did. No one is willing to be that much of a, a teammate. All right, so where do we want to put it? Supply pack is B tier. I think B tier is a good spot for it, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna leave it at B. All right, uh, next on the list, the laser cannon. Guys, I haven't even used this once. A lot of these I've used, but I have not used laser cannon once, and I've actually only used arc thrower like a couple times. I will say these guys are taking a lot of hits from it. It's okay against bots. Definitely didn't look like it was good against the bugs. That's for sure. All right, I'm being told laser cannon is in fact D tier. All right, in that same vein, where would we put the arc thrower? Projects an arc of lightning at close range, charge up to project bolts, and may discharge through multiple targets. I never actively load it out with an arc thrower. I would only just pick one up if I came across one. It is D tier or F tier. Damn, really? You know, we'll put this right here at D tier then, if that will, if that will satisfy you. I, I wouldn't say it's F tier. I mean, the few times I've, I've used it, I actually thought it was all right. I wouldn't use it over Railgun. Les, do you agree yeah. that Arc Thrower is, is, uh, is D tier? Arc Thrower? Yeah. All right. Next on the list, where would we put the expendable anti-tank? Now, this is the one use only. You drop this thing, you get one use. Discard it after every use. A tier? Are you got... Hold on, hold on, guys. You're saying that expendable anti-tank is A tier. But wait, that would have to mean that recoilless rifle is S tier, of which it's not. Oh, no, 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 no. Recoilless is way better than expendable anti-tank. Way better. Recoilless can drop one shot a drop ship. Okay, that's if you hit it in the perfect spot. And I don't even know if you could do that in hell dive. Oh my God, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm being thrown a loop right now. Expendable anti-tank is better than recoilless rifle. You can easily top off ammo though with recoilless rifle and a resupply, and you can auto fire with a teammate. All right, pull this. Shit. What's better, anti tank or recoilless rifle? By the way, neither one of these do I use in hell dive modes. Neither one of these would I use in hell dive. I'm looking for pure killing power. This is normally the way I look at it. How many rockets does it take to take down a bio titan in hell dive? Expendable recoilless rifle uh, from uh, from either either or. You guys saying it, that it takes two? Two rockets? Dude, I don't trust y'all for shit on two. I've never killed a Bile Titan and two fucking hits from a recoil, from a recoilless or expendable. You can't even kill a charger with that. Why just purely killing power? It's more nuanced than that. What the fuck out? What are we judging this off of looks? It's girth? What are you talking about? I would take Railgun or Spear over expendable and recoilless. Recoilless one. Okay. All right, look, I'm going to go ahead and just... This is... A complicated affair. I'm going to put both of these in the same category because to be quite honest with you, I don't care to ever use either one of these in 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 game, late game, like hell dive mode. Uh, they're both D tier for me. The main thing is less. Would you ever use either one of these in hell dive? No. Being more, uh, the expendable maybe because I can move around. Recall is just standing still. Nah. Les, have you used either one of these? I've used the expendable one. Yes. It's not bad. Just put both of them together. They're the same thing essentially. Well, one, you can have a teammate auto load it very, very fast and well i just find them neither one of them i would use but for the sake of this i will put recoilless in c tier expendable in d tier now some of you are saying that the expendable does more damage is that true i thought the damage is the same for both expendable can break heavier armor and hurt bigger things but recoil can as well oh my god dude the two things that i didn't think would bog down this tier list expendable and recoilless has bogged this tier list down to a halt 
I personally don't see a, a difference at all between expendable and recoilless other than the ammo. That's literally it. All right, and, and, and in the meantime, guys, I'm leaving recoilless at C tier, expendable at D tier. We will do some testing to see if that may change anything. The reality is, would I use either one of those over rail gun? No. Or even spear? No, probably not. All right, moving on. Flamethrower. I don't even own it, if that tells you anything. <laughs> we don't even own it. No, because it's ass. Fucking terrible. It's so good against bugs, bro. What the fuck? Is it really that good against bugs? It's not bad. It's really good against bugs, not really for robots. All right, that's fine. But I mean, how good against bugs? Or like, could I use it against a charger? No, I wouldn't at least. Chat saying, yes, you can. Yeah, but how long is it going to fucking take? It'll take a fat minute to kill one though. Just use a rogue gun at that point. How are you making tier lists without having to play with the guns? Cap, that's why we're also... I play with the majority of this stuff. But this is why we're also including chat on this. Flamethrower is the one that I have not played with. Or actually, there was one other one I didn't play with. I used it once and I lit myself Laser on cannon. fire because the enemies would jump on me. That sounds pretty fucking bad. That sounds pretty awful, guys. I'm going to put I'm gonna put it at F tier. Flamethrower is good at lower difficulties. I don't care about lower difficulties. I care about hell die. Would you ever bring a flamethrower in hell die? I'm not here for casual shit. I'm here with the hardest shit ever, ever, ever. That being hell dive mode. If it can't be used in hell dive, I don't want it. Hell dive or death. All right, the starboard. When's the last time any of y'all used starboard or the machine gun? I don't care about lower difficulties. I care about hell dive. <laughs> So, I mean, machine gun, I think many of us probably started off with a machine gun. Got the, the Star Wars here as well. Uh, it's just like a faster handle and, fa or, uh, and faster reloader, reloading version of the machine gun. I feel like I would have to lump them both together, you know? I feel like they, they would both be C tier for me. It, it is still good for ad clear. Star Wars can be, can be reloaded while moving. Higher fire rate, better ammo economy. All right. So machine gun at D tier, Star Wars at C tier. I'm going to take one more poll on this because I've got people coming here and being upset about the flamethrower. Flamethrower. Should it be in D tier or F tier? I've got, I've got folks coming in upset about this. Here, we're starting this right now. And this is going to this is gonna shift the liability from me. All right. 80% still on, on flamethrower. It shall remain at F tier. Grenade launcher. Let's, mm. Where would you put grenade launcher? I mean, for running gun, for shutting down. Uh, it's nest, pretty good. Uh, and you know, you got something that helping you out with the ammo economy. It's it's pretty damn nice. I haven't used it, but I'm gonna say, guys, I'm inclined to put it at A tier. Is it better than the spear? Well, I mean, the spear. The reason why it's at B tier is because of its its inconsistencies. Okay, and the grenade launcher is not inconsistent. So maybe A, high B. This is also a complicated thing because like. Chris brings up a good point. Grenade launchers will ricochet off of armor and kill you and your teammates. I like grenade launchers probably for objective reasons, like actually like completing objectives more than just like slaying out. But for that, I think I think we need to keep it at um, at A tier. For people saying why is spear at B tier? Again, it's too it's tracking is too inconsistent. I love the spear. It's my favorite weapon in the game, guys. I would love to put it at S tier, but I I can't I can't put it. At you could do A tier with an auto cannon though. Sentries get shit on in in-game, guys. You'll have a beautiful record after you're done with that failed mission because you couldn't beat the objective of, of three, 400 kills and you'll you'll feel good about yourself, but sentries get shit on too quick. All right, let's get the let's get the last gun here. The auto cannon. Auto cannon is, better, is, is a better grenade launcher. A tier would be S tier, but it's easy to kill yourself if you get swarmed. Dude, I'm torn on this, man. Fuck me. Les, where would you put it? The auto cannon? I mean, I definitely think A tier for sure. Would you put it at S tier? Uh, no. I, I don't know. It's better than the grenade launcher, but is it better is it is is it better or as good as the railgun? It's the same as nade launcher. I would just say A then and keep it there. Not when railgun exists. Exactly. Yeah. Not as good as the railgun. It's crazy how good the railgun is. I can't put it at S tier then. It's not. Mm -hmm. as good or just something similar I, the reason why i bring it up if you do have a teammate loading you um I'm, the output's nice guys so the reason why i'm talking about you know as far as s tier goes when grenade, grenade launcher and b then grenade launcher should go to b tier i don't know i mean yeah. I, I love the functionality of the grenade launcher orbital gatling barrage orbital gatling barrage what are we feeling like a like a c tier it's just i don't know you're you're doing what like a cluster strike would do in just a smaller area over a shorter little longer amount of time B tier for shit your ads. I disagree, Gear Blast is better than the Gatling Barrage. All right, so you're saying Orbital Strike C tier, and then Air air Burst Strike. Yeah, air Burst, I would put slightly higher. Okay. It's like, a, it's like a higher C. We don't have a higher C. We have B or C tier. Oh, 
okay. I'm used to tier list being like you move things up and down within the C tier. Whichever one's closest to the left is better in C. Whichever one's farther to the right is lower God in damn, C. Goddamn, we're not going that extreme, no. <laughs> All right. I'll just put it in the C tier then. The orbital air burst strike. We'll, we'll put in C tier. Is that how tier lists work? Really? Holy shit. We made a lot of tier lists. I've never done it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna rearrange things after this then for everything, guys. Left to right, the closest thing to the left is superior in that column. I like, I'm down. I'm, I'm ready to do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm already, I'm already arranging things here. Next on the list, we have the Orbital 120 and also the Orbital 380. They're fun. I don't know. The, the fact that you just can't aim them. Like you just That's can't pick thing, a zone. And you're like, it's just so, yeah. it's so they're, random. They're I know yeah. that you do have the ship modules though that, that centers them more, right? From your place. Do they, do they center them more or do they just make them deal more damage? I actually don't. It deals more damage even if you're a bit further than the initial impact. But a little more forgiveness though, uh, in terms of getting at least the enemies killed in that barrage. The way that I view the 380 is like, usually only one round, like one individual bomb of 380 will actually hit something in which case why am i not just using a 500 from the eagle that's fair that's fair i mean all barrages are f tier oh uh, we say f tier man that's that's a little that's a little brutal huh where would y'all place them b i wouldn't place them b tier i'd say c tier yep i agree with you that c tier is just mm. getting loaded down with stuff it's the average one that's how it's supposed to be 120 should be f tier though we'll move it to d tier 120 on d tier yeah. is 120 really f tier i mean i wouldn't say it's like because f tier items i feel like they're just like useless like they just don't do anything 120 oh, oh. they help you i don't know f tier is a weird one too because i love tesla tower but the only reason why i have it there is because it's just too weak i think it's crazy that the anti-material rifle isn't an f tier because it's more useful in the flamethrower i'd put it at the top of f tier i can agree with that I put it in D tier because Les loves using it. Les is also level four chat, so that's also why he, he doesn't You have. could use a grenade and I'm sure this. Less than you in that oh one, in that my one back, so. God. You know what, Les? It's because I was being a gamer. Yeah, I had more kills I was though. being what a gamer. gamer were you being? I, was, I was putting civilians. I won them my back. I won them under my fucking arm. I was toting them across enemy lines. Let's get back on track here. Orbital walking barrage. Good <laughs> see it at B tier. Yeah, like a mid B. Cause you actually know where they're gonna be going. You know what I mean? Yep, exactly. They're gonna go forward. I feel like the biggest one with that one is pro it's probably really good if you have the, the the less damage fall off upgrade. Yeah, I have not had much success with it. Is my experience with it, but we'll put it last on B tier. Either last on B tier or high C tier. How do y'all feel about it? I, I can agree with that. I mean, it's it's better than the jump pack the jump pack is such a hard one because the jump pack is so like use case dependent it's either completely useless or really good yeah all right moving down eagle smoke strike i feel like we use smokes quite a bit D. i think that i thought it was really good until i got handheld smokes and now i just use handheld smokes so we're... i'd say like a like a c yeah now the handheld smokes at the orbital smoke strike which one are you talking about you can just get handheld smoke grenades as part of your loadout oh okay just the grenade itself is it's, it's okay. the exact same like thing i realized i realized when i was using them all like the orbital smoke strike and like the eagle smoke it's literally just dropping like the handheld smoke grenade you can put in your pocket and so those just negate all the ones that you take as a stratagem yeah we talked about the smokes the other day because smokes are really good for evacuating citizens right you know it's showing enemies firing through it but smokes really messes with the enemy correct me if i'm wrong if the enemy is in the smoke do they stop shooting they just shoot randomly and even if the smoke is between you and them either they don't they don't even have to be in it if you're in the smoke or if the smoke is between you and them or if they're in the smoke i mean it's only good against bots but that's, that's why i think the hand they're all bad because you can just take you like oh, i'm fighting bots i'll just take the grenade mm. instead of any of the gems all right so orbital smoke strike and eagle smoke strike where would we place that? Considering we have smoke grenades. I can't place a smoke grenade anywhere on here because that's just a great yeah. ability. So where would that put these two? Low C or D for me, D, personally. D tier on that orbital, one. Orbital D, Eagle, low C, because at least with the Eagle, you fire them in a line and you get like four of them. Okay, so a low C on the, on the Eagle there. Okay, chat, there are definitely times where smoke is really, really good on, on objective game us. Really. I know that sounds crazy, but we have used smokes a number of times in our runs. It just depends on the objective you're doing. I don't know if I'm going to go through here and rank each one from right to left. That seems like a lot of work. Next on the list, guys, orbital gas strike. Make a new tier, call it, I don't know, uh, anti-democratic tier, and then put it in there. <laughs> 
I, I tried using it because I thought it would be fun. And I kid you not, I dropped it on a bug hole with the basic bugs and the basic bugs said, oh, that's cool. And then they just walked out of it and didn't die. Like, what are you supposed to do with that? It has, like a, it has a 75 second cooldown. It hits a tiny little area. It lasts barely long at all. And then it can't even kill a basic ad. And I was playing on like tier three to help my friend level. Like, what is that? It's, show it, that? it's showing enemies dying right here. How does it even affect bots though? Oh, it's showing them killing bots. Uh, it's nice F tier if you have to pair it with EMS. It's in the war I mean, crime you, tier. Oh my lord. If you combo it with oh, EMS, that's, that's half of your stratagem slots just to make a Corrosive smoke barely work. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Guys, we're gonna we're just gonna put it in in F tier. Orbital EMS strike. B. That's B. 75 second what? cooldown. You said B or D? D. Oh, okay. I agree. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying I B, and I was B. like, what I was the like, <laughs> I thought you said B. I was like, just use a mortar at that point. Okay, everybody keeps coming here saying S tier. Did you even play this fucking game? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I think people are playing it like tier three difficulty at level five, and they're like, yeah, I know what the meta is. Cross is D. FX, you're saying S tier two? For real? Oh, he's trolling, Cross. I'm telling you, they're all Xbox players. Dude, I wish there was a way I can I can fucking get like an icon next to everyone's name. All right, all right, I'm putting it at, at, at S tier. Orbital precision strike, basically. But where do we put it? I mean, like D, maybe C. I don't know. It does damage at least. It just doesn't lock. The rail cannon is just so much better. Granted, difference of cooldown. I mean, the 110 rocket pod is just strictly better than the orbital precision strike. It does the same thing with more rounds and a faster cooldown. Guys, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put orbital strike here. Precision strike at D. It is at D tier. Finish up these eagles real quick. Eagle air strike. Just basic eagle air strike. Maybe a C. I would put it pretty low. So the air strike can be good because it destroys bug holes if it hits and also buildings, like a bot buildings. But right. even then, yeah. I just find myself never. If I'm going to use an eagle strike, it's going to be the 500k. Or the cluster strike. Yeah. What about the cluster, the cluster bombs? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's so hard because so many things like the cluster strike is just superior because it hits such a huge area and kills so many things. All right. So what do we want to put this at? C tier for eagle, eagle strike. B tier for cluster. Uh, cluster I say is S tier. Yeah, S tier for cluster. S tier for cluster, really? Yes. Five uses, destroys a huge area, wipes out enemies. And like, remember when we were struggling to complete any hell dives? We were having that day where we just couldn't do it. And just two people clipped a cluster strike and then we did it, no problem. Damn, okay. I mean, so the clusters can't kill Ness though. Yeah, but just use your grenade, pull it out of your pocket. Five uses is huge though. Yeah. Okay. And the last two we have here, we have the napalm strike. Let's light everything on fire. Looks good. I want to put the napalm strike at B, honestly, because it's just good until you get your cluster strikes unlocked. It's just the low tier cluster strike. Mm. But the napalm is below the cluster strike in the unlock tree. <laughs> that's that's what I'm. I don't know. I just want to say. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, until you get your eagle bait upgraded, because without the fully upgraded eagle bait, the cluster strike isn't as good because you don't get the faster rearm time, the more uses, the faster CD and everything. Once you get all that upgraded, then you remove napalms. The fire is nice against bugs. Yeah. All right. So what tier? What tier would that be for for napalm strike? Low low B, mid B, um, somewhere in B. And then finally we have oh the eagle strafing run. That's our last one. I'd give it a high C because you get it early and it, it honestly ain't bad. It just gets replaced like so fast, like mm -hmm. a mid C, somewhere in the C tier, in my humble opinion. So so mid mid C is what you're saying. Okay. All right, hold on. I'm just looking here. How do we feel about this, guys? What would you rate this tier list? The solid tier list cross. I think it's your best one. Make it less. Thank you. I worked really hard on it. I don't know if you could tell or not. What happened to democracy? Oh, oh. I do want to point out, everyone here played a role in this. Everybody played a role in the choices. We had votes up for, for all of these. All that good stuff. This tier list is barely C. Mods, you see Yasha with that comment right there? Very democratic of you. Thank you. Thank you. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.